Toronto is a thriving city of nearly 3 million people, known for its innovation and building a digital future. Three years ago, we started dialogue with Cisco very, very early on, on the future of the city of Toronto in terms of the vision. And that relationship was key when the pandemic hit. It's the relationships we can form on these kinds of urgent and pressing city problems. Toronto's mayor, John Tory, realized how critical bridging the digital divide would be for the city's underserved communities. If people are left out, then they're left out. I mean, they're going to be left out of health care. They're going to be left out of economic opportunity. They're going to be left out of education. Wayne Cuervo and his team at Cisco's Toronto Innovation Lab came up with an idea to get Wi-Fi into the homes of people who needed it the most. This initiative was very much a grassroots-led project from the five members of my team that really passionately took this on and, and led it as if it was their mission to get these residents internet access. We really believe that internet is a basic human right and Cisco very much seeks to empower an inclusive future. Working with the City of Toronto, they were able to identify communities and neighborhoods that were most at risk. And then working with some of our partners to figure out, okay, how could we give access to those communities? But we also relied heavily on our partners like BAI, Bell, and Onyx. And those are the partnerships that were not only key to success, but also instrumental in building out the framework of this program. For Lawrence Etta, his role as Toronto's Chief Technology Officer is much more than a job. This is actually, I believe, what I was built to do. It's not just about connecting Wi-Fi, it's really about making a difference for people's lives. It's about the public, and it's about making sure that those who are disadvantaged feel that they, they can have something and they, they feel that. Once the public-private partnership was cemented with a $1 million technology investment from Cisco, Cuervo and his team got to work literally climbing onto rooftops of apartment buildings to install access points. We went with Meraki Solutions for switching wireless and security. Meraki is obviously a fantastic platform. It's uh, very easy to deploy. It's cloud-based, super easy to provision, and really easy to physically deploy in these, in these environments. And it made it very tangible. When we could see people coming into the building, we knew those are the residents that were going to have access. In July, Cisco set up the first two buildings with Wi-Fi access points, enabling 2,000 residents to connect to free Wi-Fi. We're already hearing that these kinds of programs are making a world of difference. The goal is to provide up to 13,000 Toronto residents living in underserved communities free Wi-Fi by the end of 2020.